what's up everybody this is Joshua Casper I'm here with Plugin Boutique and today we're checking out RX6 Advanced. In this tutorial we're going to be using RX6 Advanced to clean up this vocal take. Hey what's up everybody this is Joshua Casper and we're testing RX6 Advanced. Also going to try to get rid of this mic tap right here. Okay so in the process of cleaning this up and making it usable because right now it's pretty terrible. You can hear the fluttering, you can hear a lot of noise, you can hear some dogs barking in the background. There's obviously that moment in the end where I tap the microphone with my finger and there's just, it's just not that good. But using RX-6, we can actually get it to where not only is it passable, but I mean, no one's even gonna know that it was this terrible to begin with. And in that process, we're gonna go over some of the newer modules introduced in RX-6 including the breath control. We're gonna check out the dialogue isolate module, also the de-rustle module. We're gonna remove some of the noise with the voice denoise module. Then we're gonna just do a little bit of editing and a little bit of leveling and a little bit of EQ in the end to make everything really nice. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna do with this clip is get rid of that noise because it's really distracting and I just like to get rid of the noise the first thing I do in the process. If I open up the voice denoise module, I can denoise this one of two ways. I can use adaptive mode, which does everything automatically for me and changes depending on the noise that the machine learning algorithms pick up, or I can point out noise for RX and say, hey, this is noise. This is what I want you to get rid of. But I found that just running the adaptive mode on this particular clip worked just fine. So that's what I'm gonna do. But let me just show you if I wanted to use the learn function, I could just highlight an area that's just noise. And if I wanted to highlight more, I could just hold down shift, select more area, and then turn off adaptive mode and hit the learn button. And it's just gonna take an average of the noise that is inside of those selected clips. Then what I need to do is deselect and hit process. And that way it will process the entire audio clip instead of just the selected parts. However, like I said, just running adapted mode works just fine in this instance. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just click adapted mode and hit process. And I'm actually gonna run adapted mode two times on here because right now the noise hasn't gone away completely. And if I run it twice, it just sounds really good. I'm gonna go ahead and close the module and let's go ahead and listen. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and we're testing RX-6 Advanced. Also gonna try to get rid of this mic tag. Okay, and now that I've gotten rid of the noise using the denoise module, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this so we don't have to listen to this entire part right here every time we wanna preview the changes. So I'm gonna go right click after selection and cut and the same with the front. Right click and cut. Now the next part of the process, I'm just gonna go ahead and run a slight DS compression here. The DS module, basic reduction is good. We can preview, we can bypass while previewing, we can compare various settings if we wanted to and we can also output just the S's. So let's check that and go ahead and preview the S sounds that RX is picking up with these settings. Okay, and that sounded like mostly S material. If you hear something that isn't S material, then you're gonna wanna roll back on the threshold. But this sounded good enough for me, so I'm gonna uncheck output S only and hit process and those S's should be taken care of. The next thing I wanna concentrate on is this breath sound. Six advanced. Also gonna to try to get rid of this. That breath is a little bit too distracting. It's a little bit too in the front of the mix. So what I'm gonna do is use the breath control module to push it back in the mix. So it's not completely gonna wipe it out, but it is gonna make it less in your face. I'm just gonna come in to, let's say, large breath preset and check out what it sounds like. Let's go ahead and preview it. It's advanced. Also gonna to try to get rid of this mic tap right. And that wasn't that good. Let's go ahead and check out the plugin boutique preset that I made earlier today. Six advanced. Also gonna to try to get rid of this mic tap. So that sounded really good. It didn't wipe it out, but it definitely pushed it way back. This is the part that I wanna process. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that. Just the breath sound. 
hit process, and that should be good to go. Six advanced. Also gonna try to get rid of this mic tap right here. Cool. Now onto that mic tap. Now I've played around with RX for a couple of days now, and there are a couple of different approaches to getting rid of that sound, or at least making it less apparent in the mix. There's the new D. Russell module, which is for if you're using a lav lavalier microphone and it's rubbing on some clothes or it's get bumping along the clothing line or anything like that, and it's kind of knocking the microphone, the diaphragm of the microphone around, that's what Russell is. There's also the Dialog Isolate, which does a great job of getting rid of sounds that are not part of the Dialog that are in the background. However, I found that if you just run Separate Dialog here, let's try it out. If we go ahead and listen to this now, I'm going to try to get rid of this mic tap right here. It actually did a pretty good job, but there is a real big dip right there. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that and actually come in and highlight this little bit and use the D Russell module. And from the preset menu, I'm going to choose remove Russell and noise and then go ahead and process that. Okay, so now that I've used the D Russell module to do most of the heavy lifting on that mic tap, what I'm going to do is use the dialogue isolate module and I'm going to process all of the dialogue just to remove anything that I didn't really pick up or maybe someone else might pick up and just kind of really make the dialogue clean. And what I'm going to do is actually highlight the dialogue, hold down shift and highlight this dialogue and leave that breath sound alone because if I use the dialogue isolate on that breath sound, it's just gonna wipe it out of the mix. And remember, we wanted to keep that because it's kind of natural. So let's go ahead and check this out. Again, from the preset menu, we're gonna choose separate dialogue and hit process. Click out, and now let's listen. Also gonna try to get rid of this mic tap right here. So listen to that. It's com almost completely gone. And if you're listening to this in the context of a video and I'm not pointing it out, you might not even notice that there is something there. That is just incredible. There are just a couple more things I'd like to do, sort of housekeeping tips and tricks that are kind of outside of the new modules here. And that is just a standard EQ. I'm gonna go ahead and run the EQ and I'm gonna cut off everything below 70 Hertz. If you look down here in the spectrogram, you can see this is really low in the frequency range and there's kind of something going on there that I just want to get rid of. So what I'm going to do is run that EQ process and it's just going to it's going to clean that up a little bit for me. The next thing I would do in the, the process of making my dialogue for my YouTube videos, for example, would be the leveler. The leveler makes everything more even in terms of loudness. So there isn't gonna be really loud parts and quiet parts. Everything's gonna be more equal to one another. And there are some great presets. I'm just gonna use consistent voiceover because that's the type of clip we're processing and just go ahead and hit set clip game. Close out of there. Everybody, this is Joshua Casper and we're testing RX6 Advanced. Also gonna to try to get rid of this mic tap right here. Okay, sounding really good. And the last thing I wanna do is just hit normalize. I like to go up to negative three for my videos, and that's just kind of a normal thing. If you, if you kind of analyze any of really good YouTubers' videos, they're usually peaking around negative three, so that's what I like to do as well. Just hit process, go ahead and close out, and let's just go ahead and preview the before and after. If I come down to the history panel, I can go back to any one of those levels of processing that we did to this vocal. So I'm gonna actually go back all the way to the initial state and we can go ahead and listen to what it was. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and we're testing RX6 Advanced. Also gonna to try to get rid of this mic and compare it to where it is now. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper and we're testing RX6 Advanced. Also gonna to try to get rid of this mic tap right here. I just noticed we didn't process this end so I could just easily select it, right click, cut, and now we should be good to go. So that's the tutorial to show you how easy it is to use RX6 to really clean up a terrible recording. So just imagine if you're getting good recordings, which you should always be trying to do, and you just have a little error in there, and instead of having to do a complete and total reshoot or retake or recession with a vocalist, for example, this is a tool that's just gonna make it, it's just gonna save you. It's just gonna save your life because you just, sometimes you just can't. You can't get back in the studio or it was an interview that you flew to the other side of the country for. No matter what you're doing, having RX6 in your toolbox 
is going to be a lifesaver if you ever run into any sort of problems while recording. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Thank mm-hmm. you.